Thank you. Thank you. That was a hell of an introduction. How's everybody doing? Everybody's all right? All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and say it out the gate. Uh, yeah, that is a Morehouse. That's Morehouse right here. We uh, uh, and I say that uh, I think it's everybody's individual responsibility. It's our duty. It's our obligation to encourage our friends to do better. Do y'all? Would y'all agree with that? Because if you notice, your friends don't blurt out positive things, right? Your friends blurt out bullshit. Like, <laughs> think about putting some rims on the car. That's bullshit. That don't help nobody's soul or nothing. You know what I mean? I fucked Keisha last night. That don't help <laughs> nobody. You know, you blurt bullshit out. When your friends say something good and positive, you got to ask him to say it again. Motherfucker, what? Did you say you thinking about going back to school? What? <laughs> blurt that shit out. You know what I mean? Do that. Do that. My man said he wanted to go back to school, so we encouraged him to do it. Right, we all got a chance to go to college. He didn't get a chance to go, and now he wants to go. Better late than never, right? You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's never too late. So we encouraged him to go, but you know, he's 40 some years old now. He, he can't be living on campus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Motherfucker got to work 40 hours a week, got six kids and shit. He can't be staying on campus. <laughs> So you don't try to find him an online school. But like I said, I went to Morehouse, me and all my guys, we all went to black school. So he went to try to find an online black college. <laughs> but he found one too. It's called Phoenix A&M University. <laughs> he went to get involved in all the online black college activities. So he went to pledge a fraternity. <laughs> and now this motherfucker's online, online. <laughs> Uh, I saw in the news that Michael Jackson's uh, children were trying to make some music, and I thought, how, what kind of decision is that? You know what I mean? Like, your father was the greatest dude to ever do it. You'll never get nowhere <laughs> close. You know what I mean? You could go 30 times platinum and still not be nothing. Those are some large penny loafers to fill. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, if you want to impress somebody as Michael Jackson's son, you should do something completely different. Like, imagine being in the hospital and hearing uh, paging Dr. Jackson, Dr. Blanket Jackson. That's <laughs> impressive. You're watching a football game. That's Blanket Jackson on the tackle, tackle, tackle. <laughs> a UFC fight. Blanket to tank Jackson. Blank <laughs> blanket to tank. You name your son Blanket. You talking about private school out the gate. You, you have, uh, you talking about Izod shirts that should be tucked in. Like you gotta, your name is Blanket. That's, you can't, you don't even, like even your thuggish friends would be like Blanket, Blank. You know that's, <laughs> get that out your pocket, Blanket. You know you didn't pay for that. Cause I watch uh, uh, the show, uh, what's it where they send the kids to jail for less time than it makes? Beyond Scared Straight. Beyond Scared Straight. Which is not beyond, right? Because you're going home tonight, regardless. <laughs> I mean, just call it scared straight. It ain't beyond. Beyond scared straight is, okay, motherfucker, welcome to the week. You get to stay for seven days now. You know what I mean? Because if anybody here has been to jail, I would imagine in this group, not on the TV viewing audience, I'm sure y'all have done long stretches, but in this, in this eclectic group right here, I would imagine the longest time anybody's done is probably 10, 11 hours. Would I be wrong? You don't have to. <laughs> I'm looking at the facial expressions. We all agree. Somewhere between eight, <laughs> 10 hours. The weekend? The weekend, yeah. the weekend that's, that's and that was a cameraman too. So he went on and got him a trade immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like never again. Because what the difference is between the eight and the 10 hour jail term and the weekend is of course, over the weekend, you gotta do some things. You had to eat. Right. You, <laughs> nobody, nobody was never like, I'm starving. I wonder what they eating on the inside today. <laughs> you have to bathe. I don't know about y'all, but I don't like bathing really anywhere but my house. You ever notice you don't bathe the same at other places? <laughs> you could be at your partner mansion. It's just still uncomfortable and shit. <laughs> Cause that nasty shower curtain start touching your naked body. You be in there like, ah, <laughs> could not believe this nasty shower curtain touched my naked body. <laughs> hey, I'm Gerard, y'all been sweet. Thank you, peace.